O oh Allah, we extend these palms out to you from these dirty hearts. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, we plead in front of you from these hearts which have been soiled with years and years of sin. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, it's a struggle day in and day out as we live this life. There are so many challenges and there are so many fitan out there. We want to be good. We find ourselves failing day in and day out. Oh Allah, we ask you, we beseech you that you make your obedience beloved to our hearts so that we can avoid disobedience so much more easily. Oh Allah, and we ask that your, your disobedience be made hated in our hearts so that we can avoid your disobedience. Oh Allah, oh Allah, bring your obedience close to us. Oh Allah, grant us your love and the love of those who love you. Oh Allah, oh Allah, we find ourselves failing every day. We find that we come into the masjid and we pray. We come into a class and we study. We go out outside and one wrong look wipes out all the nur that we've just attained. Wipes out all the benefit that we've just been given. Oh Allah, allow all the good that we do to, to accumulate and to benefit us and to benefit our families when we get back home. Oh Allah, your tartib is so beautiful that the men, they go to the masjid to pray and they bring back the nur into the houses. But oh Allah, we are failures in that regard. We make our salat in the masjid and yet we don't take any of that nur back. Oh Allah, oh Allah, purify our hearts and our gazes, our every aspect of our body. Oh Allah, because we can't be left to our own nafs. Oh Allah, don't leave us to our own nafs. Oh Allah, you take charge of us. Oh Allah, you take charge of us. Oh Allah, we know where insincere servants we have a lot of darkness in our heart and these hands that are extended to you and these tongues which are which are speaking to you are soiled and dirty but we have nobody else to ask only you can we ask because there's nobody else to turn to oh Allah we've seen in this world that when a child becomes all soiled and the nappy is dirty nobody wants to pick that child up that smelly child but the mother you've given her such mercy that this mother will go and pick this child up and clean it, clean the child and make it smelling nice again and will draw this child close to her heart. Oh Allah, we are soiled with our sins. We're worse than that child. If the sins were to smell and their stench, nobody would come close to us. Nobody wants to pick us up. But oh Allah, oh Allah, we ask that you purify us because your mercy knows no bounds. Your rivers of your mercy are constantly flowing. We ask for one drop of it to be given to us. That would be sufficient for us. That will allow us to reach, to get close to you. Oh Allah, your, your mercy has been manifested in many ways. Oh Allah, give us the tawfiq to understand that mercy and to seek that mercy from you. Oh Allah, our problem is our sin and our weakness. We waste our time in redundant activities. We don't fulfill our time in the, in the most useful ways. We have insincerity in our intention. Oh Allah, oh Allah, oh Allah, we can expect much more from you. We can expect much more from you. Oh Allah, we know we have this hope in you that you can give us all of these things. Oh Allah, oh Allah, don't turn us away because there's nobody else we can turn to if you turn us away. And oh Allah, we ask you to grant us barakah in our lives that we turn away from here with, with, with full, full repentance repentance and full purification of our heart with a new outlook to life, a more positive outlook to life. And oh Allah, that our life changes and we become more conscientious people. Oh Allah, oh Allah, accept our du'as. And finally, we ask you one last thing that you send your abundant blessings on our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam.